If you're into spring planting, today is the day to get going. April 15th is the average final frost in Hampton Roads. From now until November, a frost likely won't be a threat to plants. Digital content producer Savannah Hogdahl caught up with Mike Westfall, the garden guru at McDonald Garden Center. He has a beginner friendly plant that can bring butterflies to your yard. So today we're going to plant a butterfly milkweed. Butterfly milkweed is great for the monarch butterflies. So as those monarchs start to migrate up north to feed and reproduce and lay their caterpillars, we need to have host plants for them. And this is our native species of milkweed that grows here in the Hampton Roads area. As you can see, it's pretty small, so it's not super big. Uh, what I'm going to do is pair it with some other host plants that are also herbs. So dill and parsley. Dill and parsley are great, you know, to cook with and use in our culinary, uh, you know, uh, uh, expeditions. Um, but this is a great one that you can pair with because these are for the swallowtails. And so these are native butterflies that grow in this area and they're going to use these as host plants. So now I'll have a container full of host plants. I can plant some flowering plants nearby and that way I've got some nectar source to attract the butterflies in. But this is what they're really here to do is lay their eggs on here. They turn into caterpillars. They eat up the plants. That's what I'm growing them for. It's perfectly fine. That's what these plants are designed to be done is, is to be eaten. So it's a great thing that you can experience right in your backyard. All right, in May, the milkweed starts sprouting bright orange flowers that make it a host plant for butterfly eggs and a nectar plant for adult butterflies. If you head to 13newsnow.com or pull up your 13 News Now app and search milkweed, you'll get a lot more information about frost dates and plants that are native to Virginia.